Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is my achievement starter guide for SnowRunner. It's a little bit different to what I normally do, but I've played about 30 hours of SnowRunner, and I'm by no means an expert at this game. But having played that 30 hours, there's a few things that I wish I knew and a few things I wish I'd done differently when I started this game to help me achievement hunt this game. So if that sounds handy to you, stay tuned and I'm going to go through sort of how I would start the game if I was to start the game again uh, with achievement hunting in mind. Let's get into it. I'm going to be pressing A and going into a brand new game here guys on a brand new account so you can see exactly what I do. Uh, so click, uh, click A and then choose new game and we're going to go to new campaign and pick any save slot obviously and when the game loads up we're going to be in a tutorial we're going to be in Michigan and I'm going to take you I'm not going to show you every single step I'm not going to show you every single road we drive on I'm just going to show you the steps that I take in order to get this uh, this start that I want to get so here we are in the start vehicle we're just going to go and follow the tutorial now this is going to involve finding the very first watchtower the watchtowers are a lot like Ubisoft watchtowers in that they open up a bit more of the map. Um, now this first watchtower, we're going to stay to this left road. Um, it's not that watchtower on our left there on the map. Stay on this left road. When you come to this roadblock, don't be scared like I was the first time. I found a way around this roadblock. But now I know you can just drive straight through it. Uh, you can go into this water. Normally you won't take damage as I do here in this video. Uh, but you can just cross this water. I remember the first time I came to that rod roadblock, I found a different way around. Uh, just go straight through, guys. It will uh, speed things up a little bit. Uh, you're going to go past this, uh, I think it's a petrol station or a gas station, depending on where you're from. Past that, we're going to turn right and we're going to head up to the first watchtower. You'll see here you can avoid the roads a little bit. Uh, to get out of the water or stay out of the mud and head up to the first watchtower that will activate it uh, You can press X to watch a little beautiful little scene. I don't think that really does anything I think the map uh, updates regardless of whether you watch that little scene or not And now our next ob objective guys is to go and find a truck. It's just around the corner I'm just going to mark out a little uh, route to get there using the right trigger. You place little markers. It is not as intuitive as some games. You do have to like only um, mark straight lines. Uh, but find your way to this truck. It is, like I said, just around the corner. And when you pull up next to the truck, the game's going to teach us how to change or move from one truck to the other. Now that we've discovered this truck, this truck is now ours. Some trucks, you have to do certain missions to unlock the truck. Some trucks like this, you just drive up to it and it is now ours. We're going to press up to open up our functions and we're going to press change truck to get into the new truck. Then once that's selected, we press A to get into the new truck. Uh, now, now that we own two different trucks, you can actually swap between the trucks uh, another way as well if you're not close enough. So you have to be right next to the truck to use the function mode and change trucks like that. Uh, the game is also now telling us that we have a contract that is the next part of the tutorial and we're going to go work on this contract by picking things up at the uh, the town center or the town something, I forget what it's called. Uh, but first I want to show you guys, once you drive away from our, our uh, first truck, I want to show you how we can swap back into it if you need to swap trucks, which you will do throughout the game quite a bit. Uh, what you need to do is go into the map Make sure you're on the far left under objects and then use uh, your D-pad to select the other truck. Press A twice and Bob's your uncle, you're in the other truck. Now I'm going to quickly change back to our newest truck and we're going to use that to drive down to the, uh, I think it is called town, is it town center? I can't remember, town something. It's on the map, the bottom left there. Head over to this location and once you stop in the cargo management area, you press X to manage cargo, and you'll see there that we need metal beams. We've currently got zero of one. So load uh, one lot of metal beams into the back of the truck, and then we can head off with the metal beams, uh, and it says we need to deliver them to the old bridge. 
So open up your map, find where the old bridge is. If you need to mark a route to the old bridge like I'm doing here, do that and then head on over to the old bridge and I'll meet you guys there. Here we are pulling up to the old bridge already. When you pull into the designated area, you can press X to open cargo management and unload the cargo. So I'm not gonna show you how to do all of this guys, but this is just sort of a couple of things, like I said, that are important. Now, as you can see, the bridge is not completed. Now we have to go pick up two wooden planks. Now, obviously guys, the game is showing us how to do all this. You do not need me to tell you how to do the tutorial, but there are a few things that we do need to do like this, I'm gonna go pick up this trailer at the lumber mill. There are a few things that we do need to do during the tutorial that are gonna help us later on. So that's why I didn't wanna just skip straight to the end of the tutorial and show you from there. There's a few things that we can do to just make our life easier here in the tutorial. So what we're doing now is I've marked that trailer at the lumber mill. You wanna reverse up to the trailer and attach the trailer. To attach trailers, you gotta reverse up to them, then press the, up on the D-pad to go into functions and select attach trailer. Now you might find it really tricky to get out of this spot where the trailer is. You might be bogged like I am. You can use the auto winch by pressing Y. The uh, winch will pick somewhere that it thinks you want to attach to. Then you can hold Y and also use your engine uh, to try and drive out and winch out at the same time. But if you find that still isn't good enough and you get stuck, you can go into functions here guys and select attach winch and then you'll be able to use your D-pad arrows left and right to choose a contact point on your vehicle to start the winch from. Now, when you're carrying a big trailer like this, you might want to attach right from the far back like I am here. So attach to that point and then attach to this pole and it gives it a little bit more leverage and we're going to be able to, able to pull ourselves out of this predicament. And the other thing we're doing there, I do actually believe I winch, uh, I think it's five or six meters that you need to winch for our first achievement in the game. Now, I didn't realize I'd done it there. It popped a few seconds later while I was paused taking notes. So that's the achievement popping there for us. Pull yourself with a winch for at least six meters. Now, what we're gonna do is continue on and head back to the bridge with our wood and drop that off as per the tutorial or the contract that the game is telling us to do. Once this bridge is completed, guys, our next objective is going to be to go to our first garage. Very, very important things to do at that garage during this tutorial and straight after the tutorial, but things to avoid during the tutorial as well. So I'm gonna take us straight to that garage and show you exactly what we wanna do at the garage. Garages can be used as fast travel points. Uh, whenever you're in your truck and you wanna get back to the garage, there is a function to automatically fast travel your truck back to the garage can be helpful, can also be a hindrance if you are don't want to go all the way back to the garage, but you at, sometimes you may be forced to, guys. So you basically actually follow this road that the uh, bridge is on. You we've got to take our first ride. I think I show that here in the video, and then you stay on that road all the way to the garage, guys. Uh, it does sometimes become a dirt road or a mud road, uh, but do just stay on this road all the way until you see the garage where I skip the video to in just a second. So pulling up here to the garage, we wanna enter, but we're not gonna go straight to the garage. First, we've got a trailer on the back and I wanna make some money again to make things a little bit easier later on. So we're gonna pull around the back of the garage or the side of the garage here to what's called a trailer store. We're gonna pull inside the trailer store little area and we're gonna press X to enter the trailer store. Now we can go down to the sideboard trailer that we're, that we're currently uh, towing and we can sell that trailer. To buy it back, it is exactly the same price. So it's almost like free storage. Put the trailer there. Now what we're gonna do is start working on a the achievement called Broken Horse. No, we're not, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the garage and I'm gonna to talk to you about the achievement called Broken Horse. You can see here there's an upgrade. To pick up upgrades that are uh, around the map, you just drive up to them and you can press X to get the upgrade. But you'll see then that we've also discovered a new truck. Do not get in this truck and do not put it into your garage. Don't even get in it for now. I just wanna show you that that is the Fleet Star F2070A. Do not get in the car, do not repair it, do not refuel it just yet. Don't do anything with it because we're gonna need that truck how it is now uh, for the broken horse achievement. And we're gonna do that straight after the tutorial. So just don't touch the truck, but pick up 
the upgrade part, if you press X again, you can show uh, which trucks or vehicles that upgrade is for. It's actually for that truck right there, but we're not gonna do anything with it just yet. We're gonna continue the tutorial. We're gonna enter the garage. So drive over there, press A to accept, uh, and you'll enter the garage as well. Once we're in the garage, the, uh, the game wants us to retain the vehicle, and we also got an achievement there uh, just for going through parts of the tutorial. You'll get that, that's automatic, don't worry about that. Uh, now the game's teaching us about traveling. So we're gonna have to press X to retain the vehicle. Then we're gonna have to go to the global map. When we've gone to the global map, it's gonna show that we're here in Michigan. And if we press RB, we can go across to Alaska and it'll show the available places that we can travel to in Alaska. You can travel between all these different areas. It doesn't make sense to do a full whole area, do everything at one area and then go on to the next area. You might have to go back and forth depending on what vehicles and upgrades you've got and what's available. So we're gonna select that uh, new garage in Alaska and head on over. We're gonna go into uh, vehicle storage or truck storage so that we can get our truck back out. Press A to deploy the truck, back out and go to leave garage. That is the end of the tutorial, guys. From here, it probably wants you to stay in Alaska and do a few things. We're gonna do just one thing before returning to Michigan. We're gonna drive straight out and we're gonna back up to this first trailer that we see right ahead of us here in Alaska. Make sure you grab this trailer. Once you've attached the trailer, we are going to go and sell this, sell this trailer straight away. The trailer store here at the, at the garage, there's another trailer store. It's in a slightly different location compared to our first garage, but it's right ahead of us here. We're gonna just drive into the spot and sell this trailer for a little bit of extra cash. It's gonna come in very, very handy, very shortly, guys. You just need to uh, go down to the correct trailer, press sell, and then you can back out. Now what we wanna do is recover the vehicle. So go into your um, functions, recover vehicle to return to the garage, press X to retain that vehicle. Now we can go back to the global map and travel back to Michigan. Once we're on the Michigan map, we need to actually use the D-pad here and go down to buildings and go to the garage entrance and select the garage and press A on it twice to then travel back to Michigan. Once we're back in Michigan, I'm gonna deploy the vehicle again in truck storage so that we can now use this truck again here in Michigan uh, and then I'm gonna leave garage. Now this is all important, this is all good stuff for achievements. Uh, you can see here it's dark, I'm just gonna quickly go into the map. Now you can't see it because of this stupid tutorial at the top of the screen, but as I press Y, it sort of for, um, speeds up the time, six hours or so, and I'm pressing Y until I get to 6 a.m. in the morning. You can see it there now with the tutorial message gone. It's now six in the morning and we'll be able to see what we're doing better. I like to do that every chance I get. So whenever it gets dark, I just skip till morning. There's no penalties or anything for that. Uh, once you're back in control of the truck, we're gonna go start working on this broken horse achievement that I was talking about before. Now, the first thing we need is we need to make this truck drivable, but the broken horse achievement is for driving a truck with uh, six or more damaged, fully damaged wheels, I believe. We're gonna back up to this middle trailer here. This is a repair trailer. So back up to this middle trailer and attach it and then drive it over to the uh, fleet, uh, what's it called? Fleet Star or whatever it is. This truck out here next to our first garage. Once we're here, we're gonna repair this truck, but you need to be very, very careful. So open up your functions, go down to repair, select repair, but do not click all and do not click wheels. If you click either of those, you're gonna have to start the game all over again to do this achievement, or you're gonna to have to wait till you find a truck more uh, suitable much, much later in the game. I haven't found one and I'm 30 hours into the game. Instead, we're gonna repair the gas tank, we're gonna repair the engine, we're gonna repair suspension and gearbox, but do not touch all or wheels because that will repair the wheels and we do not want that. We won't be able to get the achievement. Once you've repaired everything except for all or wheels, we can back out of there and then what we're gonna do is go and sell the repair trailer. Whether you have used the repair trailer or not, you will get the same price for it. You also can buy it back for the same price that you sell it. So guess what? Fixing or repairing is free. Anytime you need to repair something, come and get one of these repair trailers, use it to repair something, then bring it back and sell it and you won't have lost any money at all. So sell a service trailer. I call it a repair trailer. The game calls it service trailer. You know what I mean. 
sell the service trailer. And once we've done that, back out of there, and we're gonna sell another trailer. We're gonna back up to the trailer, just here, just next to the trailer store. Uh, you'll see a third trailer to the other side of where the repair trailer was. You just might've seen it in the video then. Don't worry about that trailer for now. You can't sell that yet. Uh, that is needed for a contract or something later in the game. So just leave that trailer there, but we can sell this trailer. Even though it's got handy cargo on it, uh, trust me, we wanna sell it because we need the money for what we're doing a little bit later. Now, now that we don't need our truck, we're gonna drive back over to the, uh, the Fleet Star and we are going to use the fuel in our truck to fill up the Fleet Star. Go into your functions, go down to refuel. You might have to press right trigger to make the target ve vehicle the Fleet Star and then hold A to completely fill up the Fleet Star using as much fuel as we've, we can in our uh, GMC or whatever you wanna call it. Once that's done, we can just recover this vehicle to the garage and it will automatically get a refuel. The reason we didn't do that with the other truck, if we recover the fleet start, it will automatically repair the wheels. We need the damaged wheels. Once we've recovered the, uh, the GMC, we are now going to hop into the fleet star. Use your map function like I taught you earlier to get into the fleet star. You'll see there in the bottom left, the wheels are red, but everything else is working and we've got enough fuel. Now we just have to drive one kilometer with these broken wheels. That might sound hard. You might think I need to find a big long road and how am I gonna get through the mud with broken wheels? This is gonna be terrible. Wrong, wrong, not terrible. All you need to do, actually, I actually do it the hard way here. All you need to do is go round and round in a circle right where I am. You'll see me adapt that method in just a second. But for, for now, I thought, oh, I might just go round and round this section. You'll see where I, uh, where I go round and round here. All you really need to do is drive for around two to two and a half minutes. Uh, like I said, you might think that's hard, but no, not if you just drive round and round in a circle, literally round and round in a circle. It'll take two to two and a half minutes. I'm gonna cut a bit of the video out here so that you can sort of, I'll leave this little bit in so you can see where I'm going, uh, but we're gonna cut a bit, a bit out and soon the achievement will pop. And there we go, uh, this is where I had already adopted the uh, round and round in a circle method. You'll see here, just going round and round, but there's the achievement popping, the broken horse achievement. Very, very easy if you do, do use this vehicle before you've repaired it all, guys. Very, very easy. How to do it later in the game, I'm not sure. I would probably prefer to just start a brand new game. This is in the first half hour of the game that you can do this anyway, uh, if you really wanna pick up this achievement. And with that broken horse achievement out of the way, guys, now we can recover this vehicle. Feel safe to recover the vehicle. It's gonna go back to our garage. And actually this vehicle, as well as the GMC truck that we've already got. So the two trucks the game has given us so far are terrible, guys. Feel free to go and drive around and do the next step using these two trucks before you sell them and find out how bad they are. Then come back to this part of the video and watch here. I go into truck storage and I sell the Fleet Star. We now have now have 56 uh, and change, 56,000 and change. What we want to do is buy the International Paystar 5070. We want that truck. That's our starter truck that we want to use to do all the little bits and pieces that we're going to do uh, in the next few bits of the game. So now we're going to go across to our GMC. We're going to, uh, oh no, you could just sell it. I just wanted to show in here that you can go to customize, you can go down to frame add-ons and you can actually sell the, uh, the cargo bed on the back, or it's called a sideboard bed. You can uh, uninstall it, then you can press X to sell it. If you just sold the whole truck, you would actually get the value of the cargo bed anyway. So you are safe to sell the truck as it was. I just wanted to show you that you can do that. So we retain the vehicle, we go into truck storage, and we sell the GMC, and we already sold the Fleet Star. So make sure you sell both of those vehicles, we, along with the trailers that I've already shown you how to sell, and everything else we've done, we now have enough money to buy the International uh, Paystar 5070, a much, much, much better truck than those first two trucks that we already had. So make sure you buy that. That is the number one thing I want you to do on this video is buy this truck, use this as your starter truck. But if you wanna use those other trucks for a while just to see how tough they are to get around, then you can compare it to this truck. Uh, we're also gonna buy the sideboard bed for the truck because you're gonna need that early 
uh, in the game for a few things that we're going to do next or that you may want to do next, I should say. Okay, so I'm also thinking the green is not my color. We need some Aussie Gamer Blue. And I think that's about the closest thing I'm going to get to Aussie Gamer Blue. Although I'm colorblind when it comes to blues and greens. So it probably isn't Aussie Gamer Blue. I just call it Aussie Gamer Blue. Lots of different blues are Aussie Gamer Blue. Now, what you want to do, guys, is you want to drive around and you want to go... Uh, and pick up upgrades and you want to go to all of the watchtowers. That's basically what you want to do for the next few hours on all the different maps that you can get to at the moment. You want to go to all the watchtowers and you want to find all the upgrades. When you go to a watchtower, it'll reveal some of the upgrades on your map, but some upgrades are hidden. Check my video description. There's a link to a website where it's got all the maps and that's the art site that I'm using to go around and find all the, watch, uh, all the upgrades and the watchtowers using that website, guys. So look at the video description. But that's your job right now, is to go around, find all the watchtowers, or um, uh, sort, of, sort of unlock all the watchtowers and pick up all the upgrades. Don't worry about doing any contracts while you're doing that. Uh, but what you will come across while you're trying to do that is you'll find broken roads and you'll find tasks. This is very important for the untouchables uh, achievement. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So there's gonna be broken or um, things across the road or broken roads that you need to fix as you're trying to get to watch towers and uh, trying to get around the map. Here we've found power lines over the road. So this is the first task that we're gonna do. The untouchables achievement is for doing 10 tasks without taking any damage. So I'm getting in the Chevy and I'm driving over to the task location. This is where you pick up the task, but I'm not gonna click accept. Make sure you do not click accept, but click A for details. Here you can see that we're gonna need one metal beams and two concrete blocks. Do not accept this task, but do uh, remember or write down that you need one lot of metal beams and two lots of concrete blocks. Once you back out of the map, do not accept the task. What I'm gonna do is end up moving my truck out of the way, uh, but we know what we need now. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap into our other vehicle and we're gonna find those parts and we're gonna bring them to the bridge using our truck. And when we get to the bridge, then we're gonna accept the task and then we're gonna complete the task straight away, not taking any damage. So again, the untouchables achievement is for completing 10 tasks without taking any damage. So if you accept the task and then you go and do a few other things and you do a bit, few bits and pieces on the side and you happen to take damage along the way, even the tiniest little bit of damage, it's going to void that task and you're not gonna be able to complete that task without taking damage, even if you're not specifically working on that task. So here I went up to the warehouse, it's on the um, northeast of the map somewhere, um, if you've gone around and cleared some of the watchtowers, you'll see the warehouse on the map. Make sure you go to this warehouse and pick up this trailer. This is the easiest way to do this task. Uh, you can load two lots of concrete into the back of the truck, and then you can load the metal beams onto the trailer or vice versa, it doesn't matter. But make sure you go pick up that trailer at the warehouse, uh, take the concrete blocks and the metal beams. I'm just driving around the back so that I can turn around easier. And we're gonna head all the way to the power lines here the power lines over the road. We're gonna drive into the task sort of area again. We're going to show task and this time, because we've got everything already, we're in no danger of taking any damage so we can accept the task and then we're gonna complete it. So press X to show task, press A to accept and press X to start tracking. Although I don't know if start tracking is that important right now. Once you've done that, you wanna hold the X button to change to cargo management. Then you can tap the X to open cargo management. Now I'm gonna leave, the, I made a mistake here or something happened here that wasn't normal. We could unload the two concrete um, blocks, but then when I tried to unload the metal beams, it wouldn't let me. After sort of driving around for a second, I realized why it wouldn't let me. And I had to go into utilities or into functions, sorry, and I had to repack my cargo. My cargo had become loose on the journey. Uh, so I packed the cargo, drove back into cargo management and it let me unload. We completed the task, so that's one task out of 10 without taking any damage. So now what you need to do guys, cause this is pretty much the end of the video, drive around, get the rest of the watchtowers, get all the upgrades, do that on other maps. When you find tasks, only complete them in the method that I just saw. 
probably save just the ones where you need to fix the road and just bring a load of something to the road. Do it exactly like we did that one. Do 10 of them, get 10 of them out of the way as soon as you can, uh, but also go around and get the watchtowers and upgrades, like I said. Uh, those are your priorities. That's going to give you the best possible start to this game that I know of. Like I said, I'm no expert, but these are things that really I wish I had known at the start. Uh, I'm glad that I can make this video for you guys. If you found it helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support me and help me make more videos like this, uh, because these do take a lot of time, and you know, I also do 100% walkthroughs. Those are really, really um, time consuming, lots of fun. I will, I will uh, admit that, lots of fun, and I love doing it, but for me to be able to continue to do it uh, and pump them out as quickly as I do, I do need all the support I get over on Patreon. Uh, so there's a link in the video description where you can become a member of Aussie's Army over on Patreon for just $1, guys. I'd really appreciate all the support I get over there. It's uh, really, really good. And uh, if that's not your, you know, you don't think you can do that, come and say hi over on Twitch. I did a lot of this uh, prep work over on Twitch, uh, so you can come and see me do this stuff live as well. Really love to see you guys over on Twitch. That's all for now. I want to thank you all again so much for watching. Have a great day. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed. <laughs>